How's it going guys? Boy in a Scanner here, back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about some more DMR with the SDS-100. I'm showing you a few things that I found out just scanning around on the SDS-100 as far as DMR goes. And maybe this will help you guys if you're a little bit confused about DMR and manually setting it up and programming it. I'm still learning on this uh, scanner as well, um, so if you guys have any tips or suggestions, make sure to leave those in the comments. Uh, those will help everybody that, that view this video as well. And I'm just almost out of range from some frequencies here close to me in my area that are DMR. So uh, basically what I did was I was in this custom search here. Um, you can see my custom search 8, and I have... A set of frequencies that I was scanning through I believe it was like 455 to 465 and I came across this frequency here uh, that started flashing I heard somebody talking and and so I held the station um, the the frequency and I heard somebody talk and then I noticed uh, down here there was a TGID and then as well as a slot number and uh, color code etc so I ended up recording that information with my phone and I'll go ahead and put up some screenshots now. So basically what I did with that information is I went ahead and I started programming um, a DMR1 frequency uh, system inside of the SDS-100. And you can program these as conventional. It doesn't matter how you really program it. If there's a control station, then you'll obviously have to, have to program with trunking. Although I, I've just been, um, as I've figured things out, uh, once I found this frequency that was DMR... Uh, it was also showing cap plus up here in the top as you've seen in the screenshots um, So I knew that was DMR and I I just started programming um, as a DMR 1 frequency uh, And and just kind of went from there. So this is how I set it up. So basically using that information um, I just came in in here and created a new favorites list uh, called DMR and I'll just go to review edit the system here. So I just named it system five. Um, inside of the system option, whenever you're setting this up, a tip given to me was to make sure ID search is turned on. That's about all inside of the system options. Um, inside of the site, obviously I went ahead and programmed all the information uh, with that frequency here, 461.75. Um, I set the color code that came through. I believe you can have that set to search as well. So if you have a if you have a frequency that you're um, trying to figure out the color code on, you could just set that to search right here. And uh, then once activity comes through on that frequency, you will see that color code show up. But anyway, you can create a new frequency from here as well and then um, so on and so forth. So I ended up finding these other two frequencies just with the information that I input. Um, and what I did, we'll just kind of go through all these. The modulation I have set to auto, attenuator I have off, um, filter I just have set to wide invert, um, no location information, so that is site zero. Now the departments, I entered all the information in. So channels, um, so you'll notice here, all the channels that I found, I'm just listening to that, monitoring that frequency, and back to unit IDs, and here are all the unit IDs. Um, one more thing on departments, I believe it's in departments and the channels, uh, make sure the TDMA slot is set to any. 
Um, that's just something I was told for when you're setting up these DMR one frequency systems to have the TDMA slot set to any. And I may be wrong on that. Go ahead and share um, down below, but it's been working for me fine. Like I said, I'm just out of range almost of this frequency, uh, this system, this DMR system, but I hear stuff every now and then. So I'm still kind of piece trying to piece this thing together. So um, if I do come up with more information on this system, I will go ahead and share it with you guys. Uh, but I'll just kind of show you what this looks like when it's scanning. Um, we'll go back and turn off Turn that one off and then just make sure my DMR is on. So here it is scanning. Uh, if I go ahead and hold it, you can see all the all the channels are in here, color codes, etc. Uh, so so this is how you manually set up a DMR one system inside of the SDS one hundred. Um, and the way I understand this is. Uh, you know the DMR1 frequency you can you can set up even if there's multiple frequencies uh, this just enables people to communicate on one single frequency so whereas a control station uh, like a trunking system would have one control station and then other radios communicating with that with that control station uh, whereas a DMR1 frequency is just multiple people talking on one frequency uh, but with different unit IDs, um, you know, they're different radio IDs, etc. So uh, you can, like I said, you can set these up as conventional too. You'll still be able to hear people talk. You'll still decode the frequency. Um, but as you build the system, you'll want to start inputting it correctly. Uh, because like I said, I noticed, you know, I started uh, getting all these new unit IDs coming through just from that one uh, frequency so I just started writing all that information down and taking pictures of it and then uh, building the system that way so this one's still kind of a work in progress uh, but hopefully you guys got some value from this video if you have any questions go ahead and leave them down in the comments below uh, we'll see you in the next video go ahead and like and subscribe if you found this video valuable um, go ahead and give me any suggestions like I said DMR will be I'll have more on this um, in the future I do have another uh, something I ordered actually that's coming in about a week uh, that'll that should help with this so it'll be kind of a surprise uh, we'll kind of go over it on this channel and test it out um, anyway we'll talk to you later guys take care be safe see you later bye